Okay, I would like this morning to talk about streaming media. media. <laughs> um, I just I found out that someone else is talking about streaming media, and we do not cover the same things, so that's wonderful. Uh, with streaming media, of course you know what I mean, that you stream while things are happening. I just want to ask some questions on why, why we're doing things. In churches, very often, it is the thing to do. They want to get into media. So, and we have some good people in the church, so let's go. I'm wondering if that is the correct motivation for that. The motivation is the viewer. You always do things for the viewer, not because you want to give a job to some nice people in your church. Okay? So, and this afternoon, I'll be talking how to film a teacher, teaching how to do that. And it's the, um, the ugly duck in the family of media. Because um, uh, it's looked down on. Oh, what kind of video are you doing? Oh, I'm filming teaching. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. You know? <laughs> because it's such a boring thing to, to film, you know? So, but there are some desperate needs for it. I was, for instance, in um, countries like Venezuela, um, just the church there, there's a large church, but the church there is spread out into many small denominations, and not denominations, small churches. And the level of training, of teaching, of discipling is, um, very poor, because they're just physically far away from, from speakers, from, from teachers. Um, so to have teaching can be life-saving uh, for the church in general, in a nation. Another thing is that, um, um, yeah, I find it very, uh, very enriching to have all kinds of different teaching. I listen a lot to teachers on YouTube. And I, I have my preference, I have people I like, and I subscribe to, and, and my wife and I are doing it together. So, and, uh, this is my good side, sir. <laughs> okay, so teaching, I will do something about it. And I, I will go into the details and all the possibilities that you have because maybe you have a picture in your mind of what that looks like, but teaching, there are many options you can choose from, and you can learn how others are doing it. So, that's another thing. And I will, my biggest, my bigger thing this afternoon will be on social media. How to make YouTube channels, how to stay them on top. Okay. Also with me, for those who are, for the real fanatics among us, um, I have a, uh, uh, a printed out thing about artificial intelligence. Who knows, do you understand what that means? Yes? Scary stuff, huh? And are, do we have anything to do with artificial intelligence? You know? Yeah. Because if we make things for YouTube, this very clever robot who thinks by itself, makes decision without any human interference, decides when our video will go to the bottom or go to the top of the list. Okay? And, if you, and it decides this according to certain parameters. And it's very different than you think. Um, you know, it's, it's very strange how, how this happens, how this computer thinks. And you have to know some information on how Google, the biggest spying organization in the world, um, how Google decides for you um, what your video is about. It learns it. It takes about a week 
for Google to really understand your, for the Mr. Computer to really understand your video, what it's about, how it relates to other videos, and if you should go on top or not. So for those, if we have a copy machine somewhere, if you're interested in that kind of info, that I'll cover as well. Now, I have another topic, and that is pre-production, which is my hobby, basically. Pre-production. Pre-production means prepare before you begin. Bef prepare before you shoot. No, film, not shoot, okay? Uh, prepare before you film. And I was forced to do this. I used to have my own television program years ago, and it was physically impossible to do it every week. I had no personnel. I did most of the filming myself. I had one person who did some research for me, and I just had to be on air every week. So I made 52 of those, those things. And it's physically impossible to do it that quick. What I was doing f in a week, normally the average uh, numbers for that in Europe, probably here as well, is it takes you about a month to do it. And I had to somehow do it in, in a week. I had to film the whole thing with actors and everything, reenactment. I had to do that, and I only had one filming day. So then you really need to know what you're doing that filming day. So th there's no budget for more. So I was forced to learn this. It's a very simple system. It's so simple that it's almost embarrassing for me to teach it. But it works. It works in my case, and it has worked for many others. It's something you can use to prepare a preaching. It's something you can use for radio. It's something that helps you to prepare a book. Um, if you are creating content, and that's hopefully what we're doing, um, then um, I might cover that. I do not have the time for that in the afternoon, I believe. So I think I asked permission. I hope they got that message. If you're interested, um, let Mark know and uh, we will plan something tonight after dinner, if that's okay with you, uh, yeah? For those who are interested in that. That's, that little training takes about 45 minutes, and it's called playing with balloons, okay? Just to make you curious. I wanna, wanna ask one thing, one more thing. Okay, what is a professional? What makes you a professional? Sorry? So everybody who is good at something is a professional? Yeah, practice. Work which stands out, that's cool. That's good. What? 10,000 hours and finally become a professional. Oh man, that's depressing. <laughs> well, of course it's knowledge, right? But I think 75% is work attitude. Okay? You think that's true? Are you agreeing with me? Careful, because now I'm going to ask, who of you is a professional here? Please raise your hand if you think of yourself as a professional. Oh, you, you, <laughs> you stepped into this one, right? Because now I'm going to ask you, what the heck is wrong with your attitude? <laughs> right? Because that is it. What is professionalism? It is discipline, total discipline, total dedication to something, focused, learning how to act in a professional way to your fellow workers. Yes? And um, we very consistent in what you do. It's all work ethics. It's all an attitude. And that's something we have to learn. Okay, we're not hobbyists, we're professionals. If we have that in some measure, 
call yourself a professional. Okay? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.